Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Forzathon guide called Is That a Supra? which wants you to own and drive the 1998 Toyota Supra RZ to complete all the challenges with. So this is the legendary 1998 Toyota Supra RZ, it will set you back 38,000 credits from the auto show. Now there is of course the welcome edition, I'm using the standard one, sometimes these Forzathon challenges can be a little sketchy when you use a special edition variant of the car, so I'm sticking with the standard. I've also created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon, share code is 298-749-946 and hopefully that should help you out a bit. Now the first challenge here is super easy, just wanting you to drive 5 miles in your Supra. So to do this I recommend hitting the highway and just driving as fast as you can until the challenge pops up. Of course the faster you go the quicker you'll complete this challenge, that's why I recommend the highway and just keep going flat out until it pops up as complete, it's super super easy and won't take too long. Now the next challenge here again is quite easy, wanting you to win a street race in either A or S1 class. Now mine is tuned to S1 class and I recommend heading over to the Costa Ricosa street race. Here I've got a race set up for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon Easy and the share code is on your screen now. Now you'll note this isn't limited race to either A or S1 class, as from we found out a couple weeks ago, you can use any race as long as your car is within those classes um, and it will complete the challenge, so it's quite easy. Good thing about this one, as per usual with my blueprints, there's no AI driver tiles, it's a simple race and like you see there, it should take you no more than two and a half minutes and you'll win every single time. Uh, the final challenge here is nice and easy as well and it wants you to earn six stars in a drift zone. So to do this I recommend heading over to the Gyro and Covado drift zone. Three stars on here is only 30,000 points so it's quite easy but the other reason I picked this one is because it's really really short. It's a very short drift zone, it's probably the shortest one on the map. Uh, so the good thing about that is it means that if you sort of get three stars and two stars as I did there it doesn't take long to quickly go back and get your final star. So it's a really quick and easy drift zone to use that's why i prefer to use it for those challenges of course you can use whichever one you want but if you just want to get the challenge over and done with quickly that's the one i would go with anyway guys i hope this guide has helped you out don't forget to stick around later because this week's photo challenge guide will obviously be coming out if you're struggling with any of the challenges doesn't have to be falls with them related could be any just let me know down below in the comments i'm more than happy to help you guys out but hopefully this guide did help if it did and you're new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and dropping a like massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to thank you very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe and take care.